So, you want to know how to defeat the mission to red. As you can see, I've already done it. So I'm about to teach you how to do it. Let's find out. So, you can see if you code red, you can have maximum of five players and one mounted team per player. Right, since we're allowed one creature, we'll bring our Reaper here. Definitely does force tame this. Uh, obviously, you may think, oh, but I can't get a Reaper straight away. You can, actually. I'll have a link in the description to a video by Ross Clark, who's an amazing ARC YouTuber. Go check him out for any guides. And he teaches you how to get a Reaper on day one. Very insane. So, go in here. No. That's not amazing. Uh, but we're going to give him infinite stats. All these guys, just to pre-warn you, I'll be in god mode and my creatures will be too. Just so I can show you the guide. So let's go on code red. Start the mission. Should be able to plug you back into the simulation from here. Ready? Make sure the here Reaper's inside. I love ordering. Ooh. Rockwell's viral agents are stealing sequenced genomes from the biological archive so to engineer like... into new horrors. Let's get to the data vaults and stop his heist. All right, now Helen, stop talking. Basically, this mission I've split into six different parts. This is part one. So basically, all you're going to do is just run through here to get to the other end. As you just see there, that red barrel that I just hit is like an explosive barrel, like in most games. Super powerful, definitely use them in situations where you have multiple creatures in one area. Also, if you spotted, we have turrets up and around the edges. Uh, I'll actually tell you to keep them up, do not destroy the turrets. But all you gotta do is simply just run around. No, oh, so it's something like a Reaper, you can probably just skip most of it. And just jump straight over, because all you need to do is get to here. We'll have to find a back door. This way in's been firewalled. Yeah, so if you do do that, make sure you just clear everything out behind you. Or else your Reaper is gonna have to fight them later on. Obviously, your guys' reapers will be much more high leveled, do more damage, you get crazy breathing stats, and everything. We'll keep them there. But now, at this point, this is now part two. Which we've got to go into the vents. Make sure you got some kind of uh, equipment on you, because the vents are filled with basically cave creatures, plus uh, plus Lymantria. So you just gotta work your way through the vent. The set of ladders, there's stuff up there, so I suggest you just lead it down. Don't put your gun away. Obviously, the faster you can do all this, the more time you have in the later stages. Oh god, hello. So, these first two to three steps, I think you can, is where you're going to make up the most time for your latest three steps. You can kind of cheat it and lead them off. And just stand here like this. Ladder, and then once you get to this up the second ladder, you'll notice there are turrets at the end. These turrets destroy, do not leave these turrets up because they're just gonna make it harder for you. Like I said before, the moss will spawn wherever he's gone. They're just there to slow you down, obviously, because they're gas they drop. You get all throws around corners. 
And here now, if you look just here, it's like there's a fan. The fan has zero. Oh god, I've stepped in it. The fan has no effect over creatures at all. If I, if the fan turns on, see on. That's fine. The oh, the arena is fine. If I step in the fan, when it activates, I get blown away. So this is basically going to be a way that you might die, is if you're not prepared, the fan will blow you into the creatures. And also blow you around. So shoot through here. You'll have some moths either side again. Some spiders. I say it's all just a lot of it. This mission is just fighting. So make sure you have super high level gear, super high level armor. It should be fine. So you have a turret on either side now. The best way is just peek. Through one, peek. Through the other. Uh, you can either go left or right, they both lead in the same direction. Obviously you have these fans once again, so I'd say get in this corner. Because that allows you to get to the turret. Okay, something's knocked me out. Now, there. Let me just try and get out of the way. Seconds. Right, so if you saw, the fans were pushing me and they tried to push this central fan. Now, if they're able to do that, You'll drop down there, which is a tech toy always got me to do. That's basically the start of the vent system again. If you look, the vent door is, or Reaper's there, and the vent door's there. To avoid that drop at all costs, you can push yourself against the fan to try and slow yourself down. We'll just try to avoid it. Now, at this point, you have completed section number two. And you're moving on to section number three. So you may follow this down, it'll kind of push you. So you have to slide down. You can disable firewalls from the terminal and in then this room. a bunch of defense units will spawn. It looks well defended. Obviously, as we know, defense units don't have any ranged attacks. The best way to do this is just keep moving. Obviously, there is a chance they'll spawn right on top of you. They spawn out of these sections, so the three there and then the three on that side. In access, you can bypass firewalls and hijack his defenses. Now that all of the defense units are dead, you come over here, look E, and if you look in the right hand side there, you've taken control of hangar doors, elevators, and turrets. And now, all those turrets you've previously left are fighting for you. So, like I said, this, I find that's just the best way of doing it. Obviously, the toys don't do too much damage. They haven't got to worry too much. Now, for this next part, you may think, oh, I'll just proceed to there. Don't do that. Make sure you come back and kill the rest of these guys. So you can kill them on the first run through. You can come back and kill them after. Whatever you feel. Obviously, like I said, the turrets are starting to do some damage now, so... A little bit easier. You're not fighting it all on your own. Once you kill the bulk, obviously you get rid of the Rexes, you come to this door, and this will start the fourth stage. As the door starts to drop, turn around, because everything is going to be coming at you now. And all you've got to do is defend until this door opens. Well, until you can fit through. Obviously with the Reaper, you can kind of jump through before the door fully opens. I find that is a good way of doing it. Obviously, we've just been absolutely mauled in a corner here. You can actually run back through the vent door there and crouch and just shoot things as they come in. Now that the door's open, just run through quickly. Then the second you get to this end, turn around and the door closed. Hurry! 
free the captive genomes from his data pods. Now we move on to stage five. Oh, something's partly attacking me. At this point, now you have these biopods. The VR creatures will be attacking them, so you've got to defend them. Obviously, if you're in a tribe, split up. Cover as much ground as possible. Because you've got to defend these for five minutes. So it doesn't matter. So at this point, if you've saved a lot of time, then you'll be in a good stead because you need the five minutes. So if you had less than five minutes at this point, you might as well just die. I said if you're in tribes split up, if you're on your if you're on a solo like me, then I'd say the best place to go is over in this corner. Because the pods that you defend and the creatures inside them, they'll become allies in stage six. So here we have a T-Rex, a Ferry, and a Tapajara. Obviously, the attack jar is not going to do a lot, but the fairy and the T Rex are really good. That's because they're both very powerful uh, creatures on their own. What you want to do is just defend. Like I said, is if you have a team or you have a really powerful dino, then obviously run around, defend as much as you can. I'm actually going to set that, him to aggressive. It should, it should be on me. I'm going to have to run around myself. Obviously, we have 12 pods in total. If, the pod, if all the pods are destroyed, I believe you're still okay. Like, it doesn't really matter. But if... The more you keep, the better your chances you've got later on. So as you come to the end, like Use it says, to drop that last firewall. some biopods are uncorrupted, the creatures you've killed behind. will remember this. Now you proceed to the exit of where the place I told you to stand was, if you're a solo. Now you've got to get these two terminals. Go run in here, crouch. And just run through a little maze, obviously you're running past all these biopods. Which will open once you activate the terminal, okay? So don't stand around looking pretty at them and whatever. They're going to murder you. So quick. Press E on terminal to override. And then the best way to do this, I find, is to just run. You've got good armor and high movement speed. You should be able to just rush straight through this. Like that. Obviously, like I said, once again, it's all about saving time. Might get a few knocks on the end there. But it's nothing to worry about. So rush back over here. These ones won't spawn until you activate the terminal. So don't think because you've activated that last one that these ones will also spawn in. Rush through the middle. Like I said you've got Chalicos which will slow you down. They're probably the worst ones in here. Obviously apart from all the heavy hitting stuff. Like I said once again, you're here now, regain your stamina. Hit E and then just run. This one's a bit easier, I find, because the things don't spawn until later on. Okay, I've been trapped in the corner, I've said that. Yes, yeah, so let's rush around. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Hold the left and then try and duck right, and you can pretty much outrun most things. Crouch under the door. And then your third and final terminal is just here in front of you. So activate that. Go back on your creature. And the door drops. And now we head on to the sixth and final stage. So let's follow this corridor down to get to this doorway. Alright, now we're doing that in that time, we've got about 10 minutes by the time everything opens. 10 minutes on the final boss on Gamma is should be pretty oh, simple. That's one malicious bit of code. 
Better rip it out by the root kit. So you can see if you read that, the experimental Giganotosaurus. It's only level 10, but obviously it's still going to be powerful. The faster you do the mission, the less health it has. Now look, the cured creatures have joined in your battle, so if you look around, they'll appear somewhere. Your, the creatures that we saved will start pushing the Giga. Obviously you just fight. Obviously it's a Giga, so it's going to do the things that all the Giga does. But it also has special abilities such as Acid Burn, Cocoon, and a couple others. Obviously all your normal creatures will still spawn. Best way to do it, get off your creature, let it fight and just stay back. Just so you don't get one chomp by the gear. Obviously the more creatures you have, the faster you do it, the more likely you are to succeed. And in one second we will be done. On that did the trick. There you go. And that's it, you completed it. That is Code Red. It gives you some pretty bad rewards, to be honest, but it is what it is. The missions aren't the greatest for rewards. It's all about the hexagons, really. Yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial on how to beat Code Red. Hello there. I'll be doing. I'll be doing a video on each mission. To try and help you to complete them. Obviously, I won't go through beta and alpha. Just suspect that it'll be tough for enemies, and you have to be a bit faster. So if you have enjoyed this video, leave a like so I know. Obviously, if it's helped you, leave a like so I know it's helped you. Leave a comment. Let me know. As previously mentioned, to get the reaper on day one, check out the video in the description to Ross Clark. Tell them I sent you on that video. They storm and it sent us here, or storm, whatever you want to say. And yeah, I also consider subscribing for all ARC content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey!